And tonight, the spook returns. Hiya, it's Brian from Haunted Homes, the paranormal investigation you're about to see was carried out at the Harvey House. It was a solo investigation. I've visited this location on four different occasions. I worked in every room in the house. Is the Harvey House haunted? That is the question. Is it an intelligent haunting? Is it a residual haunting? If there is ghosts and spirits at this location, have they moved on? Do they need help? Do they have an attachment to the house or the land? The last owner was called Mr. Harry Wynn Stanley. Is Harry still there? Did I manage to make contact with Harry Wynn Stanley or any of the Wynn Stanley family? But before we start the investigation, just have a look at this stunning building. It's amazing. It was built in the late 1800s. It's absolutely a fantastic location. It's an abandoned location. It's been empty for more than 10 years. Such a shame, such a stunning building. So let's have a look.
If there's any ghosts and spirits here, well, I'm Brian. I don't want to be rude. Can you introduce yourself to me? I will do my best not to talk over you. Can you say that again, please, sir? No. We've got a goal there. Did you used to live in this house? Can you see me? So I believe we've had one or two good intelligent responses. Um, how many ghosts and spirits are in this house? Can you tell me how many ghosts and spirits are in this house? See, with a box I can adjust the white noise to help them come through better. Uh, but I like to have it nice and clear so I can hear them. Do you know my name? Sorry for talking over you. Do you know my name? <laughs> Does anybody need help in this house? <laughs> Is there any negative energy in this building? Tell me the name, please. No. Can you say that again, please, sir? Yes. So I'm just going to dip into other room, so please introduce yourselves. So I'm just going to go and find a piece of paper. I'm reaching out to Mr. Wynn Stanley. Are you here, sir? So you like to give them time to come forward and respond. And that's why I don't tend to talk so much because I don't like it when I talk over them, which is easily done. Mr. Wynn Stanley, are you here? Just the white noise a little bit, just to help them come through better. Can you tell me how many ghosts and spirits are in this house? Can you say that again, please? See, so, yeah, I tend to miss a lot of the responses. While I'm here, so it's not until I review the footage that I actually hear at least 90% of the responses. Do you remember me? Do you know, do you know my name? I've only been here about 30 minutes, so it's going to take them a while to start coming, coming forward and getting comfortable with me. I do find coming alone really helps. Is there any ladies here? Can you, can you tell me your name?
היה פי המאיר? Can I have the name of the dominant ghost and spirit in this house, please? I always like to know. I always like to give them respect. So I've now moved into the other downstairs <coughs> living area. Same again, I've got a cat ball at the door. <coughs> I've got the backwards box. PSP <coughs> running through the backwards box. I've got the obelisk V. I've got the K2. So on the, <coughs> on the obelisk V we've got before time, <coughs> object and rot. <coughs> Did someone die here before the time? Did someone die here before the time? I'll ask you again. Did someone die here before the time? comfortable around me. Are you comfortable around me? Is Mr. Wing Stanley yeah. gonna is Mr. Wing Stanley gonna come forward? You're going to come forward? <laughs> you find it disrespectful that people are smashing the house up? You find it disrespectful. <laughs> Do you ever show yourself? <laughs> Do you ever show yourself to the living? It's the rules when you die regarding interacting with humans. There's a little yep then. Can you repeat that please? It's the rules when you die regarding interacting with humans or the living, should I say.
Are you allowed to interact with the living once you pass over? I believe that you've got to earn the right to communicate with them. You have to be respectful. And you have to you have to study your craft. Yeah. Is there any negative energy in this building? Can you tell me the names? Or its name. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Thomas, is that correct? So we're just going to turn the backwards box off for a sec. Seems to be really warm now, don't know why. Well, yeah. My battery's cooking in my pocket. That's not good. That is not good. It's really warm now, to the touch. Very strange. So I'm going to try now, I'm going to try a voice recorder. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you all. Can you tell me your name, please, into this device? If you shout it nice and loud, I will hear it. Well, can you make a big bang where you are? See what we've picked up. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you all. Can you tell me your name, please, into this device? If you shout it nice and loud, I will hear it.
Oh, we were picked out up there. Those batteries are around my pocket. That were really weird. I don't know how that got so hot. Once again, can you come and introduce yourself, please? I've got this voice recorder in my hand, so if you shout your name really loud. Stick it down here. Does it upset you to see the house in this condition? Did you die in this house? Last question, have you passed over? Let's see what we've got. Put it away for a minute, you can me breathing. Let's see if we picked out up. Can you make any of the cat balls go off? There's plenty of equipment out on the Ovalis. So far we have had John of Stigmata. Are you here, John? So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna have the backwards box running nice and quietly in the background. Just so it gives them another form of communication. We've had John and Stigmata. So if I put the backwards box on, let's see if we get John. Is that with you, John? Oh, there we go. A cat ball going off. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm going to put the K2 here. John and Stigmata. Right. 
Why are you here, John? Have you passed over? <laughs> Cat ball going off again. We're, uh, we're in the pantry area now. Can you see me? Can you see me? You can see the tri fields nice and nice and steady. No point one. Have a cat ball going off there. Are you allowed to come forward and show yourself? <laughs> See, there's no wind in here. This is the only room tonight where there isn't a breeze. <laughs> Can you touch the grey machine with a green light? Can you go over and touch it? I'm trying to give you room. It's very difficult in this small place. Can you touch that grey machine and make it go up to orange or red? Seem to be having a bit of a, a bit of a glow somewhere. Don't know what that's from. Don't know if. Uh... We have. We've got like uh, what? What? What's? Is it this light? What's this flashing? <laughs> it's John. Thank you, John. Are you in the room with me now, John? We have the cat, we've got the cat ball going off again. Do you know my name? Do you remember my name? We now have this cat ball going off. So oh, we're uh, at cat ball city in here at the moment. Can we go for a free? Can you can you make the grey machine? Can you touch it and make it go up to red? Or well, just flicker it a little bit, please. It's very difficult not, not being in trying to stay out of the way. Was this the room where they were down the meat? Once again, we've got the cat ball going on. So what I will do, I will change that one out. I will swap it with this one. So I'm going to ask again. Do you remember my name? <laughs> Would you like me to come back on my own? With no cameras, just out your pass on. <coughs> I am busy, but I can <coughs> make it private and personal with no cameras. Help you pass over in peace. <coughs> can you tell me your names then? <coughs> I'm prepared to come back and help you pass over. No cameras, just private and personal. Are you happy with that?
And what I would like, I'd like a good bar. Can you say good bar to me? Because I'm going to. Can you say good bar, please? Well, thank you for having me. I wish you well and God bless to you all. I, w I will come back and I will help you pass over. Well, please shake your names out. I'm Brian. Now, this is my fourth visit to this location. I've been filming in art vision, I've been filming with lights, I've been filming round L cameras, static cameras. <coughs> Please tell me your names, I'm Brian. <coughs> you say that again, please, sir. Please give me your names. Can you come through clearer, please? Look, I can hear you there. That's how you like help, Brian. How can I help you? Are you stuck here? How can I help you, sir? Was Harry Lee Stanley a good man? Do you remember him? Yeah. Thank you very much, that was yes, I do. Was he a nice man? <laughs> dominant ghost of spirit in this house. again is the dominant ghost or spirit in this house they don't want to answer the questions they won't answer the questions that's asking the right questions can you speak <laughs> Is there a portal in this house? We've got a REM pod going off on the stairs, I don't know if you heard that. Was that you that did that? Can you do it again please? We have a REM pod going off on the stairs there, can you make it go off again please? There's only me in the building. You can see we have a few. It's a very strange little house. Oh. One at a time, please. One at a time, what's your names?
Come on, I'm not here long. If you need, if you need my help, say yes. Did anybody get murdered in this house? Can you say that again, please? As you can see, we've got the REM pod going off again on the stairs. There's no reason. Hello? So it's, this place is going off quite a bit now. Step back, please. From the REM pod. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So I'm going to ask the question again, is there a portal in this house? Come on, I've been here a while now. <coughs> Which room is it in? <coughs> quietly, quietly, quietly. Has there, has there been any sacrifices in this house? Has there been any sacrifices in this house? Calm down, just nice and quiet. Can you tell me the name of the dominant spirit, please? Can you tell me the name of the dominant spirit, please? As you can see, the REM pod has not gone off, so that's really good. Um, so that just verifies that it was spirit activity. Not... Whoa, whoa, you, it just a... one, one at a time, please. What, what's your names? Can I help you? Does anybody need help? What do you need help with passing over? Can you tell me where the portal is? Which room? <coughs> Can you be more clearer, please? Are you happy to see me? Are you happy to see me? 
I was really pleased with the REM pod going off. How many ghosts and spirits are with me now? Can you repeat that please? How many ghosts and spirits are with me? Is Philip here with me? Are you here with me, Philip? Right. Does anybody mean me any harm? So much going on on that. I'll ask again, what's the name of the inhumane in this home? One at a time. So we're going to be moving now. <laughs> so I'm going to go in here. So we're going to try again with the box. As you can see, the REM pod has not gone off. We have had no K2 activity as, as, as of yet. Can you make the REM pod go off again for me please? I know I'm asking a lot, but I am here on my own. I usually do work in pitch black, but tonight I've decided I would like some white since I'm on my own. Does anybody... Does anybody need any help? Can you tell me your name, sir? So we're just going to migrate into the other room. That's what I do. I sort of leave the box running. The box is the last thing that I take out. Um, it does take them quite a while to get used to you. Very loud. Very loud is that box. You can see it's an extremely creepy location. Unbelievably creepy. But you come with respect. You put protection on. You keep yourself safe. I can't believe we had that REM pod going off, that were amazing. I was really chuffed with that.
Very loud is that box. See for me, I, I've, it's a bit iffy here. Not comfortable here. So we've now moved into the other upstairs room. So we're going to try and communicate again in here. We've had some K2 activity so far. <coughs> we've had some. I don't know what that worth line does there. Uh, unless I'm seeing things. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Can you take it up to red, please? Can you take it up to red? I'm trying to give you loads of room. I know it takes a lot of energy. That's brilliant, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my phone is on flat mode. I'm nowhere near the device, so my phone is not affecting it. It's very, very loud. It's the witching hour, it's just after 3 a.m. It's the time when the veil between realms is at its thinnest. The activity should really ramp up in here. Uh, we're in the room with the inverted cross, the devil worshipping sounds. We've got the PSP7, we've got the backwards box, we've got an obelisk V, we've got a K2. I've also got a tri field, I've got a REM pod at the door. So we've basically covered all bases. But I'm here to try and communicate, find out who they are, and if they need help. Have they passed over? So I'm excited about this room. Hopefully it's going to be really active, we're going to get some really good stuff. Uh, I'm really excited, it's just me in the building, so if you hear any banging, any knocking, it's just me. I try to stay in front of the camera as much as possible. Really looking forward to this, so let's see how we get on. Have you got a message? Have you got a message for a loved one? Have you got unfinished business? Have you got unfinished business? We are bad in life. Did anybody get murdered in this room? Do 
It's going to have a little bit more white noise. Just a touch. Does it upset you to see the house in this condition? So I've really enjoyed my time at the RV house. Like I said, I've been here on four different occasions. I've worked in full night vision. I've worked around no cameras with lights. We've had K2 activity upstairs. We've had cat ball activity in here. We've had REM pod activity on the stairs. We have had some intelligent responses. It's, it's been like a, another phenomenal paranormal investigation. I'm out again at the end of the month, I'm down in the Midlands area. I've just really enjoyed my time here, so I'd like to thank yourselves. I'd also like to thank the Ghosts and Spirits for having me. And I can't wait, I can't wait for the next investigation. If you enjoyed this footage, please leave a comment. Um, the Backwoods Box has been phenomenal, so once again, a big thank you to my friend Tim from the USA for making me this box. You get no false readings from that, it can only be ghosts and spirits or everything else runs backwards. It's the best box in the UK, it's, it's just been an amazing place. The only thing I'd say that's put a damper on it is the condition of the house. I quite like this house. I like all the houses I go to, but I feel like I have a lot of love for this house. So it's such a shame to see it in a bad state. I will be coming back, I will be helping the ones that want to pass over, pass over. But that will be private, it will be personal, it will just be between me and the spirits of this house. So once again, thank you very much. Thanks for following on to Norms. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the team work quite hard, I'm the lucky one. I go out, I do the investigating. Uh, the Urban Explorers do a lot of work. The historian Liam does a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, we do all get together, we do all investigate together but mainly I'm out on my own 
I prefer it that way. It's easier to connect with spirit if you're on your own and you're relaxed. So all I can say is, I hope you've all had a, a wonderful Easter and thank you very much. I hope you really do like the investigation. I'm really looking forward to the next one down in the Midlands. So good night and God bless. Take care and all look after yourselves. Bye. And tonight, the spook returns.